Welcome back and get ready to unlock the full potential of your home with our following ingenious 17 DIY projects and storage initiatives. As always by Simphome, you'll find several hidden gems delivered directly from well-experienced furniture designers. Check it out. Number 17, three media console hacks. Are you looking for an affordable and stylish media console? Look no further than the IKEA Calyx shelf unit. However, if the design feels terrible with your rustic interior design, you can turn a bookcase and expedite it into a practical storage unit, according to the HoneyBearLane.com initiative. Alternatively, you can build a rustic TV stand with ample storage space for DVDs, game consoles, and accessories. While this option is practical, it may not be the best visually appealing. However, with that said, if storage functionality is all your concern, the next idea is offering an interesting combination. Let's take a look. Number 14, a media console idea with drawer slides. How to correctly and quickly install drawer slides for the first time? To begin, use a 2x4 when attaching the drawer slide to the frame. This will help you align the slide properly and ensure it is secure. Next, when installing the drawer slide to the drawer box itself, use quarter-inch plywood to space the drawer box. This will help you position the slide correctly and prevent any wobbling. Another trick is to secure the drawer slides to the drawer box while it's in place. This will save you from guessing the correct space and ensure a perfect fit. Lastly, slide the drawer box and rails out to fully secure the rail and test it out. Number 13, a bookshelf inspired by Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the great USA. Imagine having stackable bookshelves you can easily move around when you want to switch things up. That's what a dad did when he decided to create his own set of Jefferson book boxes. He used pine plywood and ensured they fit perfectly by cutting jig joints into the sides of the wood. He also added a fabulous finishing touch by using a blowtorch to make the edges darker before sealing them with shellac. The second project is just as impressive using steamed beach and featuring over 120 individual joints with hand-cut dovetails. The author shares some helpful tips like building the cases in one shot for consistency and using a Moxon vise for precision sawing. Number 12, a DIY office drawer cabinet. To build this cabinet, you'll need to have plywood sheets cut into manageable sizes, a track saw, a pocket hole jig, and pocket screws. Once you have cut all the parts, including two sides, top, bottom, and toe kick cut from three-quarter inch plywood, assemble the cabinet with one and a quarter inch pocket screws. Then use a groove to fit the bottom panel and assemble the drawers using half inch plywood. After that, install the drawer slides and boxes using spacers and screws, and finally, cut and install the drawer fronts using screws. Consider adding plastic file hanger rails for the bottom drawer if you want to use them as a file cabinet. Number 11, a DIY cabinets and modular desk idea. To build file cabinet drawers, cut plywood to size, assemble using pocket holes, then install drawer slides. After installing the drawers, add the top to the cabinets. The cabinet is 30 inches in height in our sample with an extra 3 quarter inches top. To provide wiggle room, our author cut adjustable shelves about 1 quarter inch shorter in length than the width of the inside of the cabinet. Number 10, an inspiring modular storage cabinet with extra hole magnets. These modular cabinets designed by Nick and Lee are perfect for organizing any room. The cabinets are made from sturdy oak or maple plywood and can easily be taken apart and reconnected to fit your needs. And if you want them to stay together, just add some super strong neodymium disc countersunk hole magnets to hold them in place. These versatile cabinets are sure to make your life easier and your space more organized. Number 9, a sliding door storage idea without a dedicated slider mechanism so you can save more money. 
Are you tired of constantly searching for the right cure for your clutter? Then build a storage cabinet with sliding doors to organize them all. First, get the wall cabinet with sliding doors plan for $6 from DIY Montreal. Cut six panels and make the half-inch tracks for the sliding doors. Optionally, edge band the panels. Assemble the cabinet and mount it on the wall. Add a simple sliding door mechanism and simple finger pulls for easy access. Lastly, pop in the doors by pushing them up into the top track, then dropping them down into the bottom track to finish the job. Number 8. Momodal's Unique Modular Cabinets Idea Momodal is a modular storage system designed by Xavier Conan. With no nails, screws, or tools necessary, the system uses three different types of modules with slits allowing you to connect them to create unique and customizable configurations. Constructed entirely of birch plywood, you can build complex systems of shelves or other furniture pieces without limitations. Momodal is versatile and can be used for bookshelves, coffee tables, media cabinets, and more. So the next time you get bored, you can easily disassemble the system and create something new. Number 7 IKEA IVAR hack for a more customized open shelf idea. To start, check the wood to ensure the best looking pieces are on the outside. Use suitable wall hangers to hang the cabinets and tune the hinges to close the gap between the two doors. Replace the hinges with Bloom 170 degrees full overlay screw on hinges for a wide opening. For open shelves, attach two cabinets and use one set of doors partly covering them. Alternatively, cut the doors or create an opening between two cabinets and cover the sides with wood. Paint the cabinets to match your decor. Number 6. A DIY Sliding Barn Door Cabinet Idea with Drawers Start by building the frame and adding adjustable shelf pin holes. Use the Craig Drawer Slide Jig to attach the drawers easily. For the door, add 3D effects to your plank door and barn door hardware that Shanty Too Chic recommended. Don't forget to add your own DIY door pull and finish the cabinet with a two-tone finish like Pink Shadow by Sherwin-Williams for a soft pink look touch. Number 5. A Furniture Concept by... Arquite Kinea. These unique furniture pieces by Arquite Kinea are designed to be versatile and adaptable to your needs. The collection consists of four interchangeable elements that can be configured in different ways. It is also built to challenge viewers' depth perceptions. The skin of the furniture is designed with textures, colors, and varied transparencies to create a canvas-like effect. These innovative pieces are sure to add an interesting touch to any space. Number 4. Four Designer-Inspiring Storage Choices from Cozy Designs Cozy Designs showcases four different examples of beautifully designed and functional storage units. Each unit was custom-made to suit the specific needs of the client, from a combined work-from-home office and storage solution to a peaceful place for book editing, a desk that fits perfectly in an alcove, and a space-saving unit for an awkward corner. Cozy Designs has created unique and practical storage solutions for each client. The units combine a variety of storage storage options including hanging space, drawers, cupboards, shelves, and desks and are designed to fit seamlessly into each space with a touch of elegance and style. Number 3. A Foldable Sea Table Project Idea Looking for an adjustable and portable table? Try making this foldable C table using only 3 quarter inch plywood. Cut the plywood into the necessary parts for the frame, legs, and top. Use a palm router to make half laps on each end of the cuts. Sand all the parts and attach the legs to the frame and top using piano hinges. Finish with three coats of oil-based varnish. Number 2. A Foldable Stool for Extra Seat Idea this foldable stool comes from just one board and a wood dowel. To copy the project, first cut out four parts, the top, center leg, outer U-shaped leg, and hinges. Make the ends of all the leg pieces round and slide dowels into the side channels on the center leg. Attach the hinges underneath the top and assemble the top to the legs by driving the dowel through the holes aligned with the corresponding hinge. 
Number one, all I own house project idea with a little more environmental tweak. The all I own house project shows how personal belongings can reflect one's personality and emotions. The design uses custom made transformable containers that suspend from an industrial railing system to arrange all the storage in the house. This creates infinite home options within one home. The containers are from ESB panels instead of OSB plywood, which is solely from virgin wood without any harmful additives, making them an eco-friendly option. Each container is mobile, making the most of the space available. Well, that's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching this video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Like the video if you believe it'll motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly, though, it is more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project, and we'll see you again soon.